earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. Because in the meditation is in the digestion of the eternal life that is in the word that you are taking in. The word of God is the life of God. What makes God God is in his word. The word of God, the life of God is in the word of God. Zoe, the life of what makes God to be God is in his word. It is that same thing that the, that the substance that God is made of is eternal life. Zoe. That same substance is what his word is made of. That same substance is what the Holy Spirit is made of. And if you don't think I am blasphemous this morning, that same substance is what your recreated human spirit, washed by the blood of the Lamb the day you got saved, is made of. And that's why fellowship with God is possible. We are for signs and wonders. We are God on the earth. But as we study and meditate on the scriptures, our meditation has been wrong. We are misinterpreting the law of, we are misrepresenting, misusing the law of identification, identifying with who we are not, so that we fed, we fed wrongly. We fed wrongly on that diet. So that in the day that the problem we are supposed to confront with who we really are in the spirit shows up, you are confused. Why would you call, okay, your sister is sick. Did the Bible say your, the apostles will lay hand on the sick and they're going to recover? No, it's the whosoever the, this son shall follow them that believe. And then your your cousin is sick, and you are the one that is there. But because every time you read the Bible, you think Jesus, when Jesus lay hands on mother, uh, his mother-in-law, that would be my pastor laying hand on us when we are sick. So that was what was it. But if you know that you are the Jesus in the New Testament now, according to the gospel. You will have fed correctly on those scriptures. So in fact, you'll be wishing that they call you that somebody is sick around. And then you can lay hands and they will recover. You will not recover then they will. But most times we are afraid. What if I pray and nothing happens? But I'm sure my pastor always pray and something always happens. So I call the, I give the pastor a call. Please, can you pray for my son? Can you pray for my sister? And then, am, I, am I belittling special anointings? Not at all. But my focus is for, for you this morning is that you are for signs and wonders. And you must not disappoint God in the place where God wants to display signs and wonders to the glory of his name. And you are his representative there. So our meditation must be correct. So I want you to go back this week or this month of August over the books of the gospel. The gospel, again, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Acts of the Apostles, and see yourself as the Jesus of now on the earth. The seed of Jesus. The representative of Jesus. The, 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 the manifestation of God on the earth. He came to show us how it is done. He didn't come as God. He came as man in the flesh and got baptized in the Holy Spirit. We saw how he got baptized in the Holy Spirit. And beloved, are you baptized in the Holy Ghost? Then walk the steps of Jesus. So that there will not be any mix up. He said it. I am going away. Greater works. He that believeth on me, greater works than this shall they do. Because I go unto my father. Anything you say in my name, he say I will do it. So go in my name. Go as I've gone. Move as I've moved. Speak as I've spoken. So get your meditations right on the word. Start feeding correctly with a mindset of correct identification when you are studying the gospel so that you know, you know who you are. When you are reading the Old Testament and you saw that Elisha prophesied that there will not be rain for three and a half years and there was no rain and he prayed again and there was rain, that is not your pastor, that is you. That is you in the New Testament now. So you are the one that can command that rain will fall. You are the one that can command that rain will not fall. That is you. Say that is me. <laughs> if you like, change your name to Elijah the prophet. You understand what I'm saying? The, the people that walk with God and saw the moves of God in the Old Testament, that is us now. That is, we are the representative of God on the earth. I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget... 
read your Bible to know God more.